Hello Aquarius, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about. That is who this reading is intended for and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And I do have a special going for you. It is a person on your mind recorded video reading for 2222. And everything that you'll need to know about scheduling is posted on the community page for you. That special goes through tomorrow. All right, my loves, we're going to use the Oracle and the Tarot today to see the energy of the person on your mind, what their energy is towards you, and kind of where that could be going. All right, Aquarius. You have Feeding Crows, Transformation. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the spell is cast, let go. Some of you guys, if some of you guys, this could be your energy. For others of you, this could be the energy of the person that you're dealing with or will be dealing with, okay? Um, or this person on your mind here. Now, with this feeding crows, I feel like you guys are trying, either you or they or somebody here is trying to be very careful about, you know, either who they're giving their energy to, what they're thinking about um, with that feeding crows. Like, I feel like there, there's a certain connection that they are trying not to feed anymore. So maybe they're trying not to look at somebody's Facebook or they're trying not to... Um, you know, look at old pictures or just allow themselves to think about a person all the time, not allow themselves to communicate. And they're trying to let go. Now, this could be them trying to do this. could be the person on your mind trying to do this. Or this could be you trying to do this towards them. Now, for some of you guys, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We have treating you right. For some of you... At for some of you, I don't think this is the way it's resonating for most of you, but for some of you, I do feel like this is somebody could be in a connection with you and they are trying to let go of something else from their past. Okay, so there could be another person from their past trying to reconnect with them. They're trying not to communicate with them or they're trying to kind of, you know, just disentangle from that, right? They're trying to just let it go because they could feel like you do treat them right, Aquarius. Now we have, I can't do this anymore. So I definitely feel like somebody here could be struggling. Um, like I said, they could have been trying to like maintain some kind of friendship with somebody from the past and try to move forward with you. But I feel like somebody's struggling here. Like I said, so for some of you guys, I feel like they are really just trying to let somebody go, okay? Um, for others of you, I feel like this is somebody here that you're trying to move on from or they're trying to move on from you and with this treating you right and I can't do this anymore what I feel like they can't do anymore is be away from you so for those of you where this is somebody you're in separation with I feel like somebody's wanting to reconnect with you here we have appreciation they could be feeling like they didn't appreciate you when they had you they didn't appreciate you before but they do now they are ready to now All right, person on Aquarius's mind. What is their energy towards Aquarius, please? What is their energy towards Aquarius? We have the Six of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Magician, the Seven of Swords, the Temperance, and the Five of Cups. We have the Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, I'm getting almost like two, I must be tapping into two separate groups of Aquarians that are kind of dealing with slightly different things. So we're just going to give them both to you. Just take the ones, the messages that are for you, for you. And if they're not for you, leave it for somebody else. 
Uh, so for those of you where this is a past person that is wanting to reconnect with you here, I feel like the Six of Swords is they're hoping that you have not moved on and they are trying, they want to get past whatever happened here between the two of you. They really regret not appreciating you when they had the chance. Three of Pentacles can really talk about wanting to get along, wanting to be on the same page, like wanting to work on this together and feeling like, you know what, I feel like we could do this together. I feel like we could overcome this together. The magician for their intention, really wanting to um, manifest a new opportunity here with you, wanting to make this happen. The seven of swords, there could be distrust here as a challenge, especially if somebody was dishonest in the past um, or distrusting, you know, that somebody is coming back with the right intentions or distrusting that this person is moving back towards you here. Um, and the things that they're saying to you with, I can't be away from you anymore. I've learned my lesson. I wish I would have treated you better then. You know, I'm going to treat you right now. Like being able to trust that, that is, they are being genuine and they do mean that. I feel like with this energy coming up the way that it is, I do feel like they do. Now, the temperance card here for their next action, wanting to work on something here. The temperance card is a card of a process. It does take time. And it's also a card of like making peace and bringing something back into balance, trying to be patient. Um, we have the Five of Cups, though, so it looks like there could be some, some disappointment still, some hurt that needs to get past. The Two of Wands talks about stepping outside of a comfort zone, trying to change things around. It will turn this into a new direction. We have the Ten of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles can talk about you know everything that is important to us, the things that we value the most. So if this past person was not seeing your value before, I definitely feel like they are now. And with this transform card here, you know, somebody is wanting to transform this connection. Now, for those of you where you're involved with this person, and this is somebody who's trying to let go of something from their past, or they're just not over something from their past. Their past could be trying to kind of linger or trying to reconnect with them. Um, the Six of Swords being in the area of their thoughts, I feel like they know that this is something that's best for them is to leave this behind, to move on from this. And with this Three of Pentacles here, they see a lot of potential with you and they really do want to work on this connection with you. The magician for their intention, like really wanting to make this happen, really wanting to make this work with you. Now with the Seven of Swords here, as the challenge for some of you guys, this person could have some trust issues um, because I feel like whoever they're moving away from um, could have lied, cheated, stole that kind of thing here. So they could have to be coming into this new connection with you with some trust issues. For others of you, I don't know how upfront with you they have been about about the the ex trying to communicate or you know that's still lingering. They may not, they may have left you in the dark about that for some of you or left you in the dark about some of it. Okay. So that may be something too. And I feel like they're feeling, if that's the case, I feel like they're wanting to get away from that, okay? Now we have the temperance card here for their next action. Temperance card can be a card of just working on something, you know, bringing, like, bringing this into balance, just trying to be patient, allow themselves to heal from whatever happened. Because for some of you guys, I feel like they could have jumped from one connection right into this with you very quickly, okay? Um, so I feel like they still have not fully healed or coped with whatever happened um, in the past, okay? Because the Five of Cups here, I feel like this is them trying to work on, you know, adjusting and being happy with you and having something with you and, and trying to turn them things around and thinking there's a lot of potential here, but still grieving the past. Um, so it definitely looks like it could be a little bit messy, but I feel like somebody does have good intentions towards you. Only you guys get to decide what is best for you. But that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. If it resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, just put this little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.